Okay, everyone, welcome back to part two of Mac versus General for ERCP. If all of those words sounded foreign to you, please go back and check out our part one earlier this week. So today we are discussing the pros of monitored anesthesia care for ERCP. You can find this article in the October 2022 APSF newsletter. And the author, Samantha Stapper, offered video clips for our upcoming APSF podcast that drops tomorrow. So there are definitely some benefits to avoiding a general endotracheal anesthetic for ERCP. First of all, we can avoid the use of neuromuscular blocking drugs, which run the risk of severe reactions, as well as postoperative pulmonary complications. Patients receiving monitored anesthesia care tend to have higher patient satisfaction, and they often avoid postoperative nausea and vomiting. There are risks associated with airway intubation, including damage to the airway and the oropharynx, and the inability to secure the airway. There was also a study done in 2016 that looked at over 1,600 ERCP procedures and evaluated several efficiency metrics. These metrics included anesthesia ready time, endoscopist ready time, procedure ready time, the room exit time, the time interval between cases, how much non-procedural time elapsed, the total time elapsed in the endoscopy unit, and the number of cases per room per day. Using a MAC anesthetic resulted in improvements in all efficiency measures except for the time interval between cases. So after hearing all the pros of monitored anesthesia care for ERCP, you may be thinking that this is the best choice of anesthetic for all cases. But you haven't heard the cons yet. Stay tuned for next week's APSF podcast, which wraps up this three-part series.